morning and welcome back. Today we'll discuss how IMGs can explore getting research positions in the US to improve their chances of a successful match. Now having a research experience with documented outcomes such as publications, manuscripts, gives IMGs a distinct advantage. But how to look for a research position in the first place? Many IMGs end up sending hundreds of emails to faculty in the various universities in the US hoping to land a position. Some get lucky, but others are frustrated for lack of response. So here are a few tips for you. We have special thanks for our students who found research positions in places like NIH, Yale, and Harvard, and they provided us inputs for this video. First, do your own due diligence. Find out if you have any college alumni who have done research in the US and try to connect with them for guidance. If not from your school, try to find out where alumni and students from other colleges of your city or country typically go for research. Here's an open secret. You may be surprised to find that students from colleges, uh, some of the select colleges, go to uh, specific universities and faculty in great numbers. So for example, in India, students from Ames or Maulana Azad and other such colleges are able to find research positions relatively easily. One of the reasons is that they have done their groundwork and connect with the alumni or friends who are already in the US in research. So dig up that alumni database, all those studious characters from your hostel life whom you never spoke to, they may be able to connect and recommend you with a research faculty. But of course, you cannot just say, I'll do any kind of research when you talk to the faculty. So as the next step, identify your area of research. You should have a good idea of the area of research that interests you, at least at a high level. You should have done some basic literature review. The faculty is more likely to respond to a student who has a clearer idea of the area of research. So if you know what area interests you and you are able to network with the alumni, you should then start the faculty research. Make a list of faculty whose research area is aligned to what you want to do. So here's another tip. Look for and prefer faculty that has grants. This information is generally available on the fac faculty profile page. And if the faculty is funded, it is likely that his or her project needs help. That's you, of course, and you may even get paid. But you have to be ready for a volunteer position. Based on all the hard work you have done so far, you should have a list of about 50 to 100 faculty to write to. Now, of course, you will have a CV, but that's not all. It's a very good idea to write your own research SOP. Basically, at a high level, what you want to accomplish with that faculty in the short term and what your medium to long term research goals in that field are. It's not easy, but it need not be perfect. It'll help you where to stand out. This will definitely be very useful if you can do it. Now, if you can articulate what you want to do, how that aligns with the faculty research interest, it will not only impress the faculty, but also show that you're a serious candidate. So when you write to them, specifically ask for a time for a phone or Skype conversation to discuss this. If you are in the US already for observerships, step to CS or otherwise, it's a good idea to try and meet with the faculty in the city that you're in. They are busy people and may not have responded to your emails but most are happy to meet you if you are in town. You may have to go to their office a couple of times or call them, but it's very much worth it. Hopefully with all this preparation and interview, face-to-face uh, -face or over phone or Skype, you should be able to get a research project. If not, don't give up yet. Ask the faculty if they can recommend any other faculty who may be looking for help. Most of them will be happy to guide to others who may be hiring. So try some of these strategies and let us know um, if it works out. Do share your experiences. And if you have any questions, you can always write to our faculty team or subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the regular updates and visit our website.